today we are looking at the Cinex OS. So let's quickly boot it in a live boot. So I'm running it on a virtualization which is a VMware with 60 GB of hard disk, 4 GB of RAM and my CPU is i5-1240p. So as you can see it took like a 30 to 35 seconds to load up the desktop layout. So here is the desktop environment. So let's quickly change the display resolution first. So it's a Debian based XFC uh, desktop environment. So we have plenty of uh, resolutions available here. I'm going to choose my resolution which is a 1920 into 1080 with a 16 is to 9 ratio. Click on apply. So let's open the a uh, task manager. So it feels like completely uh, lightweight because of uh, XFC desktop environment. So these are all the process running right now. Almost uh, 272 as you can see here. Connection established. So let's check the version of the task manager. It's a uh, 1.5.5. So these are all the process running right now in the beginning of the video or when we started up the distro. So CPU is around like a uh, below 50% or 30 to 40%. It's not stable still. But uh, let me put it in the right side corner throughout the video. So you can see the changes throughout the video here. So let me open the internet browser first. So let's go to their official website. So I randomly found the Scenix OS. I was searching for some of the topics but uh, we found uh, some topic here with the uh, Cinex OS. So I really don't know anything about this uh, desktop environment or uh, distro. Not the desktop environment, it's the distro. So let's check the version of the Firefox. It's a uh, 115.5. So let's type in about support first. Hit enter. So here are the some of the important information. So you can go through all these things. I'm just going to scroll it down. You can just pause the video or you can just slow down the video. So these are some of the information if you want or you can just skip this part. So let's go to their official website now. So you get like a three apps on the blank which is a terminal file manager and the browser so let's go to their official website Cinex OS you need to just type in the search term I don't know what is taking so much long here so we have internet connection here So instead of waiting for that, let's go to the, uh, let's open the terminal and uh, check the information. So the terminal version is a 1.0.4. Let's type in INXI. So let me change the color so you can see properly. Let me load out the presets here, black and white. So I don't think uh, it will be opening. So let's try to change the search engine. It doesn't say anything whether it's uh, connected or not. As you can see, it's connected here. So let's try it again. Search term as a scenic OS. So let me close the browser and open the terminal here. I'm going to uh, make a, a small mini player like here. Uh, how to download uh, to their website later. I'm going to add it in the video uh, in the top under the corner uh, in the right side here. So don't worry I'm going to show you how to download it from their website. 
so let's go to the terminal and uh, check all the information here so this is the inxi we get the cpu information kernel information storage process so here is the memory so let's type in inxi dash small b hit enter so it says as a host debian because it's a debian based let me show you here about xfce so here is the information it says as a debian based on debian new linux 12 bookworm 64 bit and the xfce version is a 4.18 gtk version is a 3.24.38 and the kernel version is a 6.1.0-13 amd64 and this is my cpu which i already mentioned so let's close it so the desktop environment xfce uh, machine vmware cpu here is my cpu information here is the graphics information which is a uh, display is x11 server is uh, xorg 1.21.1.7 vmw gfx version is a uh, 2.20.0 opengl version is a uh, 4.3 mesa is a uh, 22.3.6 so I'm choose I'm using a 60 GB of hard disk for my virtualization or a VMware. So here it says. So here are some of the information which is INXI version. So let's type in another command which is INXI dash capital G. Hit enter. So here is some of the information. So let's type in cat fallen slash etc fallen slash issue. hit enter let's try neofetch here is the neofetch so let's type in another command which is inxi dash capital f so these are same uh, information but in a different command that's it you get some extra information from every command so instead of all this you can just type in inxi dash sv8 you get all the information in one command if you want let me show you that inxi dash sv8 and you get all the distro information here as you can see let's scroll it up and see all the information here so here is the system information here is the machine information here is the memory information which is uh, about RAM all those things CPU here are some vulnerabilities here is the graphics information about the display monitors uh, resolutions available all these things are here and here is the audio information so it stopped here it should load but it stopped here for some reason so let's uh, open another tab and uh, let me type in again it stopped again to the audio so we get a pulse audio version 16.1 Elsa version k6.1.0 so let's close this thing here and uh, check out all the applications available so as you can see they are still process running in some tabs so it's still not loading so let me close this thing and uh, let's check it out at the end of the video again so here is the installer launch anyway you should be getting the same installer as uh, every Linux distro has. So there is nothing uh, complicated here in the installation. You just get a simple uh, wallpaper or the Cynix OS logo with the United States uh, flag on the installer. The Calamaris installer version is uh, 3.2.61 for Cynix OS. So first you need to choose your language which is uh, pretty common in every installation. So let's click on next 
choose your location you can just point it out here or you can just uh, scroll it down the drop down menu here you can customize some of the things here as you can see the system language and the numbers and dates locales click on next you need to choose your keyboard model mine is uh, dell you can choose anything you want here if choose your keyboard here and the language for the keyboard i'm choosing the default one english united states click on next so you have the erase disk and the manual partitioning this will delete the current operating system or the wipe everything in your hard disk or a virtual disk this option will erase everything so this option is like a dual uh, booting or the partitions all these things you already know about uh, dual partition or the dual operating systems in the same hard disk so you need to choose your uh, right hard disk here and if you want you can encrypt your system by providing the password in the both the boxes which should be same so click on next and here is the bootloader location you can do that later if you want you can just choose the default if you want it's clearly up to you click on next you need to provide your username and password let me put in some of the information here and you need to give you the login Provide the password in the both the boxes. Always remember the password. If you want, you can uh, check this button and require strong password. You need to provide the strong password. Login automatically without asking for the password. Use the same password for the administrator account. If you want, you can choose the same password or you can choose other password if you want. You can type it here so click on next and you get to choose uh, you will be seeing all the summary of whatever you choose in the previous installation steps so quickly see all the information and click on install it's going to take like a five to ten minutes uh, in the installation process usually in my pc but uh, i don't know about your pc or uh, it should take more or less uh, depends on the pc and depends on whether the iso file is uh, in the stable or in the development version so that's the installation process i'm not going to install because i want to make another video so that's the reason i'm not going to install so let's check out the desktop features like a panel all those things so you get the 4.18.2 panel here you can customize here by going to properties you can move the panel or you can add the panel or add new items here let's go to the panel preference you can customize according to your wish here appearance items so these are all the same things uh, you see in the every desktop environment so Visca menu plugin 2.7.2 so there is nothing new here uh, it's uh, almost uh, in every uh, xfc desktop environment you get the uh, power of all the op options as usual in the xfc desktop environment here is the date and time same again notification you can change the notification setting all those things here let's close it power management customize according to your wish or just keep it like that if you want volume or your mixer which is pulse audio Customize according to wish. So internet connection. If you want to add a VPN connection, you can add it right from here. Language. So let's go to the applications. So these are all the applications available in this uh, desktop environment uh, I'm sorry in the Linux Cynix Linux OS so I don't think you get a lot of uh, Bluetooth apps in here you get just the casual uh, apps like a uh, library office let's go through all these applications right here on the accessories you get all these uh, basic apps development you get a genie and mid games you get two games 
under graphics you get a gimp manipulation program which is the image editor you can do some image editing all those things in the linux it's a really good app so restore to image viewer you get an image viewer and uh, library office you get the library office here internet you don't get a thunderbird here but you get a firefox web browser so you get a web browser and uh, you get a telegram desktop app and some torrent client filezilla remina and under the multimedia you don't get a vlc but you get other players as you can see under the office you already got the library office and you get the dictionary document viewer which is atril and under the settings you get all the xfc settings so no need to mention all those things under system you get some like a bleach bit cleaner which is a pc cleaner and gparted and other things you get like a snaptic package manager and we have a software which is a app store so here is the software manager so it takes few seconds here so instead of waiting for that let's go to the cpu and ram so the ram is almost 1.3 gb and the cpu is uh, still not stable but it's around uh, below 25 percent i can say that so let's open some of the random apps and see whether it crashes or not usually xfc desktop environment uh, you don't get any crashes or anything like that or freeze in the uh, linux distro everything will be working properly because uh, xfc is a good desktop environment one of the good desktop environment so let me open some of the random apps let's open like a 10 to 15 random apps and see the ram and cpu let's open the gimp and the image viewer also let's open the filezilla under multimedia let's open the media player you get a simple screen recorder i forgot to mention that under the office let's open the library office calculator not the calculator library office calc under settings let's open the power manager let's open document viewer i think we open like 10 apps i guess so let's still open some of the apps let's even open the bleach bit so as you can see everything is opening instantly there is no lag or anything like that pretty much uh, responsive so let's open i think i already opened the snaptic package manager i guess I don't see anything here so let's try to open it i guess what else we left here is uh, let's open the telegram desktop so i think we pretty much opened everything i guess so as you can see the ram is almost uh, 1.9 gb uh, which was 1.3 gb when we're uh, when we didn't open any of the apps but it's almost like a 2 gb which is uh, almost 700 mb and we pretty much opened almost uh, 10 to 12 apps but as you can see everything is working properly and there is no freeze or anything like that it is taking a bit of seconds here because to open some of the apps uh, so that's uh, no problem so there is no issue as you can see everything is working properly and the cpu is around like a uh, below 50 percent i can say that so there is no stable graph in the cpu but uh, it's properly working uh, almost under 50 percent and the memory is almost like a 2 gb of uh, 3.8 gb we still left with uh, 1.8 gb uh, i'm i already mentioned that i'm using a 4 gb of ram for my uh, virtualization 
so it's still 1.8 gb so it's better option to go with the 4 gb of ram in 2028 because uh, 2024 i'm sorry so in 2024 you just need to have like a, at least a 4 gb of ram to run everything properly but some of the linux distro need to have a lot of uh, ram and uh, a good cpu so it's basically this is a, telling you to have a modern pc so instead of low end pc so if you still have a low end pc this uh, linux distro will be working properly i guess uh, if you have a 2 gb of ram and if you open like this many of apps so you should be having a bit of lag there but i don't think uh, a person who has a low end pc will open uh, almost like uh, 10 to 15 apps which are like a uh, gimp and uh, software manager i opened almost uh, a bit of uh, heavy resource consuming apps not the heavy but they are at least uh, consuming a bit here which is like a library office uh, gimp two of the major apps but as you can see it's still under uh, two it's 2 gb so it's better option to go always have a 4 gb of ram at least in 2024 so let's uh, see whatever we left here so we pretty much opened almost i guess everything which are main let's open window manager tweaks let's even open the window manager almost everything is opened and 100 mb of uh, more here cpu is still under the 50 percent that's pretty good process running are 276 so let's quickly check all these applications and close this so here is the window manager you can customize all these things so i'm not going to go through all these things because it's going to make uh, almost a hour one hour or two hour video so i don't want to make that much of lengthy video i just want to keep that uh, below 30 minutes or under like a 20 minutes so here are some of the themes you can customize all these things so let's close it so here is the window manager tweaks so these are all the options you get Snaptic package manager let's check all the packages so the version should be i think uh, 0.91 i guess yes it is 0.91.3 let's scroll it down so you get the installed version here and the, the latest version on the right side corner and you get a small description of the package manager so let me scroll it down so the installed version will be ticked with the box like here so these are all the installed version or the installed packages so if you want to see in the slow-mo you can just change the playback settings uh, playback speed in the youtube settings and you should be good all the packages will be visible so here is the telegram desktop let's close it i open just for the sake of the uh, ram usage and the resources consuming so that's the reason i am closing that so here is the g parted and the version you get is 1.3.1 uh, let's close it and bleach bit you already know how to use it so let's check the uh, version I don't want to clean anything so let's keep it like that so version you get is 4.4.2 and document viewer which is atrial you get a 1.26.0 and the library office I don't know what version we get here you get a 7.4.7.2 I guess the latest version should be like a 7.6 something like that I will probably don't remember because I didn't checked uh it took a lot of time uh, when i uh, recently opened library office i think i opened the library office around like a, a month ago i guess or maybe more than that i don't properly remember because i'll be hopping distro hopping every day because i'll make a lot of videos every day like uh, two videos at least so here is the game version so i'll be posting two videos daily so if you want to subscribe you can subscribe it's clearly up to you if you don't want it's clearly up to you so gimp version is 2.10.34 and here is the filezilla let's check the version 
here is the version which is 3.63.0 let's close it and here is the app store let's check the version 43.5 to be honest i don't know anything about the cynix uh, linux os because i didn't uh, make any video in the previous so that's the reason i don't know anything about it so if you know any information about the cynix os so you can just comment down in the description or if you are using this uh, linux distro let me know in the comment section so it will help others too so here is the screen recorder let's close it image viewer so if i missed anything in the making of the video uh, in making uh, this process uh, you can just let me know in the comment section if i forgot anything to show in the video so i'll uh, add it in the next video or any uh, and the next linux distro video so here is the mouse pad version 0.5.10 so we pretty much covered everything so let's open the file manager let's check the file manager version 4.18.4 let's go to the file system if you want to check any of these uh, file manager uh, folders you can go through all these things if you want to modify you can modify here if you want to check everything you can check from here like a sys kernel firmware home this is a user folders boot media so you pretty much know everything here so i'm not going to show any everything here so these are some of the customization of a file manager you can add side panel side pane behavior advanced shortcuts you can customize everything according to your us so you can change to list view compact view these are all the in every uh, file manager file manager so no need to show everything that so let's close the window so at the end of the video the system resources are system resources are like this sorry because i'm stuttering i'm too tired so it's almost uh, sleep time so i'm going to end the video here so the cpu is around like a 30 to 40 percent process running right now at 257 memory is almost uh, 1.5 gb so it uh, went down to 1.5 gb so when we are uh, in the beginning of the video i guess it was like a 1.2 or 1.3 gb but right now it's a 1.5 gb and the process is also running right now as you can see so in my opinion uh, in my pc it worked pretty much uh, flawless everything was opening uh, instantly i didn't feel any lag or anything like that so it is working properly in my pc and uh, if you want to test it it's clearly up to you so it's always a good option to go with the live boot first and uh, if you want to test it you can install it it's clearly up to you so be careful while doing or while installing any uh, software or the operating system so it's clearly up to you so these are all the system resources so let's go to the logout screen and check some of the options so as you can see everything was working fast responsively so it's pretty much uh, instant accessibilities here is the date and time here is the scenic OS. And the password is uh, shown in the official website. I'm going to show you everything in the mini player uh, in the beginning of the video. So don't worry. I'm going to add it in the editing. So let's shut it down. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, hit the thumbs up button. It helps make a good content for you. Other than that, I'll see you in tomorrow's video. Peace out.